A lot of questions involving inequalities are really just about knowing which inequality symbol to use based on the language of the question. So this is a, an important review here. Um, let, let's just read the question here. A cleaning service that cleans both offices and homes can clean at most 14 places per day. So at most, that's going to definitely matter. Also, both is probably going to matter. Let's take a look. Which inequality represents the situation where F is the number of offices and H is the number of homes? So this is not a complicated story. And the first thing I would notice is that we are not going to use subtraction in any way. We're adding them together. It's both of these things. So we don't know the numbers, but together, as an addition, they should be, in this case, at most 14. And so we need to know that at most is going to mean that we have less than or equal to whatever our result is. So uh, this can get twisted, right? So in this case, it is just choice A. That's the answer. It has to be less than or equal to 14. Now, I, I should point out just, you know, since we're on this question, that the SAT could have easily just made this question a little harder by reversing the inequality without changing the language of the question. So another valid answer to this could have been 14 is greater than or equal to F plus H. So notice it's the same thing. If you just think about the, the, like the triangle of the inequality opening in a direction, in choice A as is, it's opening towards the 14 because that's the, it's, that's the bigger number. Um, and the same thing is true when I rewrote it. It's just that in that case, the language of the question, the wording of the question would be a little bit different from how our brain is going to want to process and make that into an inequality, right? So this is a move that's very difficult to uh, you know deal with in inequalities is that sometimes the words... Uh, can be the reverse of what we would expect. But just to kind of give you the, the other side of this coin too, um, the, uh, the phrase at least would have flipped it so that if it was at least 14, right? So I'll even put the 14 here. Then that's more than 14 or equal to it. So those are the two that are most common. There's uh, there's a, you know a lot of other ways that they could do this, but uh, this is something to make a note of if you find you get these questions wrong a lot, because the SAT is really just asking you to understand the concept of an inequality without having to solve anything. So these are easy points, even though we are in the hard module. This is the kind of thing you really just want to lock in. So hopefully I've made you aware of some potential mistakes and potential traps, and um, that way you can adjust if they try to try to throw those traps at you.